guys welcome back to my channel this is adam from thirsty plum baby today is the day okay it's the day that i'm leaving australia and fly back to taiwan so i want to do a video of how i holiday lies my plum basically they are i mean i'm going on holiday not really holiday holiday but my plants are actually staying in australia because i can't take them sadly so i have all these exotic rare plants i have to get them into a little greenhouse because um, it's getting colder in Melbourne. It's currently 8 degree. It's crazy. So don't think these plants are gonna survive if I don't put them in a greenhouse. So I have some space in my living room. So a <coughs> fuck coronavirus. So I am going to set up a little greenhouse over there. So when my plants are to come over, um, it will be easier for her to water them. Also, the plants will stay humid and warm inside a greenhouse and hopefully they will survive uh, for a few months because I won't be back till I don't know. So here is a space I have. Um, if you have seen my house tour video then you know this is my living room. Um, I have moved everything away because I need space to dance but now I need space for a greenhouse so I'm gonna move everything around and then I'm gonna have this set up over here because this corner gets the most sunlight so yes that's where it's gonna be set up uh, this one is from Bunnings I mean I don't really want a greenhouse but I have no choice so this is what I'm doing um, this one I think it's 1.8 oh here so this is the size um, it's about 150 wide and 2 meters deep and 197 height so it's gonna fit here just fine i also got a ryobi portable fan that it's obviously gonna be sitting inside to keep the ventilation going and i have a tarp that is gonna be sitting on the ground so you know the moisture doesn't damage the floorboard and i do have some lights already so these led lights i can either just take them off and then put them inside or i do have some uh, photography light and these stuff right okay so yes this would be really helpful but the thing is um it's huge so i will have to set up a c stand and just cover the whole living room i guess yes because there are more plants in the living room so yeah they all need some light and this all right without further ado this video is going to be very vloggy so i'm just going to set up um the camera on the side and then just start this project having a little greenhouse for my rare aeroids it's like them going to bali for a little holiday so you know um this will definitely help them stay warm and survive this brutal melbourne winter we have here Alright guys, it's basically done. I mean, the frame is done. It's actually really easy to assemble. Um, it's like adult Lego. Yeah. It took me less than an hour to get this up and now I can put up the finer touches. So, so this greenhouse does come with the misting assistance. Um, the tube in here for misting so you can assemble on top of it. Um, it's also indoor so, you know, it's a tent inside of the apartment so I don't think I need a missing system that's way too much so basically i'm just gonna set up um my lights also all the electronic um i have my timer up um so everything is gonna be linked together and i can control from my phone so when i'm overseas i can make sure they are all running on schedule so we are ready to install the lights um here i got two different brands um but they are all led lights they're very very light so I can basically go hold it with one finger so that's good because it's not gonna be too heavy for this frame um so basically I got a 120 centimeter one also a 60 centimeter one and I can combine them just like that and you, when you turn it on they are really bright so these are going to be sitting on the top over there and I think I only need one but 
maybe I'll put some over here too, because this is going to be the darkest side of the greenhouse, so I'll be doing that. I'll put one over there. So all of my lights and humidifier and the fan will be linked to these. So these are the smart plug by Casa, I believe. So you can see these all over my place in my house. Um, I have my heat mat set up, or have my lights and all of the propagation stuff set up. And with this, it's super easy because I can set up schedule and basically I have them turn on at 8 a.m. and turn off at 8 p.m. So all of my plants get enough lights, enough heat, all those stuff. So everything will be linked to this in this greenhouse. And if you want to go check them out, I'll link them down below. Yeah, and all the lights and the humidifiers are ready to go so I'm gonna test out the lights with the app on my phone so this is the light there you go that is so cool so everything's already so I think it's time to move my plants in let's go Alright guys, so the greenhouse is ready, it's all ready now, and I'm just going to give you a little tour, it's super exciting. Alright, come on in. So, once you come in, you will be on a heat mat. I don't want the heat mat to be directly underneath the plants, because I don't want to dry them out. Um, again, this, this greenhouse is 2 meters by 150 centimeter, um, so it's not the biggest, but it's definitely enough space for me to walk in and water yeah i just need to make sure there's space and they are not too cramped together so yeah i don't know if i want to put another light here um because it's quite dark because i have this tray here to catch water and now this is just like no light over here so maybe i should do that but yeah i'm excited to see how this baby grows Alright, so this greenhouse is designated for my rare aeroids, so I do have loads of other plants around the house and they just don't require that much humidity, that's why they are not in the greenhouse. Um, so I need to holidays them as well. I'm in my bedroom and look at the shelf, it's pretty much empty now, I'm just pot and some allocation on there. Um, because I do enjoy the sun here, um, again I just don't want them to, to feel the cold because once they feel the cold they might die off and you know, I don't want them to go dormant so hopefully that will work i might need to move the shower to here uh, so because like there's pretty much there's no space to walk in there so i might need to move them here for the rest of my plants i basically just gather them all together so they can stay close and humid while my plant sitter can easily assess them and water them all together Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today and yes, I am very excited to have a greenhouse in the house which is really random but I guess this is definitely going to help them um, they will have more humidity it's really humid now, it's 75% now it's crazy so hopefully when I come back these plants are going to be lush and big and beautiful so I'm going to miss this Oh, I don't want to leave them, but I have to. Make sure you follow us on Thirsty Plant Baby and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on what I can do better next time. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!